Welcome to the Panic Button. I'm Nina. I'm Jesse. Today we're reacting to trans women telling us about lesbianism. Being a lesbian is much like being trans at the core of my identity. It is a big part of who I am and how I identify and intertwine so much with my beliefs, morals, and like how I live my life. And being a lesbian has so many positives for me and is so amazing for me in so many ways and so many other trans women it's also amazing and even other trans masculine and trans men people it's amazing lesbian love is supposed to be very very inclusive and pretty much the only rule about lesbian love is i have a few questions um he said his morals align with lesbianism what are the morals of lesbianism? Is it a religion? No, I'm pretty sure it's just when women like to go carpet munching. Lesbians aren't the most welcoming people. I know lots of lesbians that'll fight on site. Inclusive in what way? This is kind of what we were talking about. But like, because I'm a lesbian, yeah. people are more likely to just think that I'm woke. Yeah, because you're part of the LGBTQ. Blah, blah, blah. Because I'm a carpet muncher. Yeah. That must mean that I also agree with. You don't think for yourself. Lesbians, munching. we don't think for ourselves. We also like men, apparently. Sometimes we can think we're women, or we can think we're men. This we, is too can, hard. You can <laughs> stop. <laughs> this is their logic. Even for me, being a lesbian isn't my like core identity. Like it's, Jesus, it's a part of who you are, but it's not. It's not like who you are. It's not like it's not like my. I am just the lesbian. Yeah, I just put a big L on your forehead. I do so much more than just be gay. <laughs> I do so much more than just be gay. Sometimes I take showers. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes we play softball. <laughs> I ride on motorcycles. <laughs> but it's just, it's, it's very confusing, the point being made here. You can be a loving person and be any sexuality. kind of sounds like he's talking about polyamory. Not polyamory. It was the one that dates everybody. Which one's that? Oh, that would be pansexual. Pansexual. That, that's pansexual. Lesbian is different than pansexual. That is more pansexual because that's like... That includes everybody. That includes the trannies. Sorry. That Lesbians, trans we don't include, include men. We don't include people with penises, penises or balls or prostates. That's it. Adam's apples. That too. Lesbian love is supposed to be very, very inclusive and... Pretty much the only rule about lesbian love is that it does not include cis men. A rule that he loves? Where does it say you don't have to be a woman to be a lesbian? Well, I just so happen to have the lesbian guidebook right in my back pocket here. See, there's no lesbian guidebook. Where did he get this horseshit from? My lord. Wait, wait, what did he just say? The, the, you the... don't have to be a woman. I'm pretty sure that Oh, wait, was... wait. I didn't yeah. know that cis was a thing the only when, rule... in, you know, in the 90s when I was realizing I was gay. The only rule about lesbian love that I love is that it does not include, include cis, cis men. men. No, just men. Men who think they're women. Men, all, all men. All men. All, all men. Because cis wasn't a thing not too long ago. Like, no one used that term, cis. So, when I was in the 90s, and I figured out I was, a, I was a lesbian, I didn't think, yeah, I like women and non-cis men. They're so sexy. No! I liked women. Just women. There was no men involved. No men. No cis men. No non-cis men. No penises. Just women. Just women. Cis women, not cis women. Doesn't matter. Just women. Vaginas. Well, well, no, 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 no. It would matter because if, if you said cis women, not cis women, if yeah. it's not a cis woman, it's a man. Not a cis woman would be a butch lesbian. No. Cis just means born that way. No, I thought cis means you um, look the part of the gender you're born as. No. Yeah. No, cis just yeah. means... Not, not I'm necessarily. Looking, see, this is why we didn't use this word, because it's too confusing. I, I'm pretty sure cis just means, like, you still identify with the gender you were born with. Okay, see, now this is why it's confusing. Because they're saying cis people. Now, how do they know who identifies as cis and who doesn't? That's the problem. So, like... And that's why when they talk about cis shit, that's why it's so confusing. That's why I'm like, 
no, it means this. And you're like, no, it means that. And I look it up and you're right. But the way that they use it. Number one, they use it as derogatory. Absolutely. Uh, number two, they use it to demean and like just completely negate anything anyone else has to say. Cis just means born as woman. And how dare you just decide what their gender is? How do you know? You didn't ask them. You just decided based on how they look that they were cisgender. Don't you think that's a little cisgender phobic? Wouldn't that be cisgender phobic? So it's okay for you to do it, but cisgender people can't do it? You can call them cisgender, but they can't call you a man. You don't know they're cisgender, right? Because it's how they identify. Like you said, that's the description. If you identify with the birth, you were get, like right. So how can you call someone cisgender unless you know but, that they identify as cisgender, right? But people That's also, breaking their rules. People also have this idea that cis means not queer. So when you say cis woman, it means straight woman, but that's not true either. Cis woman just means female. It's just a longer way of saying female. Queer means like faggy or dykey. That's what queer meant. It was a derogatory term. Well, queer nowadays means sexually questioning. Queer nowadays means, look at me! Well, look at me! This is the definition. That's what it means. I am boring as shit, and I don't want to put time into anything interesting, because I find nothing interesting, because I'm so boring. I have to identify as something, so I have something to talk about. Did you notice the irony, though? But I'll be incredibly annoying the whole time I'm doing it. The irony of this person saying, this man saying... I love lesbians because I'm not allowed to be in the group, but I fucking got in. Because they're kinkifying lesbianism. That's it's what that's what basically was just, I love lesbians dude. because the one rule is you can't have cis men. So since I put on a dress, I'm, I'm a lesbian. I'm no longer a cis man. <laughs> dude. Dude, straight men have been trying this for years, and it's not going to work. Oh. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> I mean, you might get some... Very empathetic, stupid lesbians who don't know their ass from their elbow who might go on a date with you only to have that be the main regret in their life. But that's as far as you're getting. You did it once. How'd that work out? Not so good. That one was a weirdo. Absolutely. That was a weirdo. Yeah. That one was a horrifying situation for me. I'm sorry to bring up past trauma. It does not include cis men. So... A common misconception about lesbians is that it's just woman on... Hold on, hold on, hold on. So if I'm at a bar and I see some guy, and I'm a lesbian, and I see a guy who looks like a cis man, and I go up to him and he says he doesn't identify as a cis man, does that mean I can date him now? Is that what he's saying? I think so. I I got a question. He's saying here that there's this misconception that lesbian means woman on woman. If you went to Pornhub right now and you typed in lesbian porn... And you didn't see two women, wouldn't you be like? I think Google had is, a hand in it. This is this is the new AI shit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what I'd be thinking. Google's in Pornhub now. Woman, but you can also be non-binary and be a lesbian. And like I said, you can also be transmasculine and be a lesbian. Being a lesbian is something I've only been able to explore recently, and it's something. Lesbian relationships are just so special. So good. He's never That's had one terrifying. before. In his life. Oh my god! You <laughs> sound like, like you're gonna kill me. You look. <laughs> it feels like you just handcuffed me to your bed, and then you looked at me after a night of fucking torture and went. Lesbian relationships are just so special, aren't they? Like Jesus Christ, <laughs> they're so special, aren't they? <laughs> Don't you think we had a special time together? We had such a great night. Jesus. Am I, I don't wrong? know any lesbian who's going to be like, mm-hmm, that's sexy. There's something. No. You know what I've also never said? There's something so special about lesbian relationships. Because there's not. It's the same as a straight relationship, a, any gay relationship. They fuck and then they go on dates and that's it. There's nothing supremely special about a lesbian relationship. No, they come with their own set of problems. Oh, yeah. Like, syncing up, which you'll never have to deal with. He would never know, because he's never been in one. We're already on the same page. We're just, like, trying to... (laughs) Yeah. Okay, ready for this other one? Sure. But I feel like a lot of lesbianism being tied around what parts you have down there is weird. I see many, 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 many jokes. Woo! That is, um, 
homophobic is. I just had a That's really a homophobe. I just had a really really bad comparison. Though. That's like saying you should want to have sex with an animal because it shouldn't matter the parts they have. Does she really want to go with this narrative? I don't want to even tap toe into this. I'm just saying like like it's not transphobic to say I don't want to have sex with someone who has a penis. That if penis phobic maybe, but I'm not transphobic. I will not interact with a penis. I'm not going to treat you differently. I'm not going to be an asshole to you. I just won't have sex with you. And if you think that's transphobic, then, then you're uh, homophobic. Not, not only are you homophobic, but you also have such an easily damaged ego. Many, 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 many jokes from specifically cis lesbians who say being a lesbian is about not wanting... You know what, right? I can't say it on here. But, like, they'll make that the entire personality around lesbianism. I'm a trans lesbian who has not had body. Entire personality around lesbianism. What? Well, uh, lesbian ain't a fucking personality. I don't know what Looney Tunes bin you just came out of, but it ain't a personality. It's a sexual orientation. Lesbian aesthetic, I think, has gotten these people confused. The lesbian groups online have got them a little confused. On TikTok. It's on TikTok. Instagram, TikTok. The fake lesbians it. are on TikTok, I swear to God. Not all of them. Not a lot of them. There's no there's no personality type to a lesbian. Not no. every lesbian no. loves Girl in Red and F Fletcher. Fletcher, oh, and, fuck. Like, not every lesbian likes that. And no. Just, just like not every lesbian's into Stevie Nicks. Or Billie I, Eilish. I love Stevie Nicks, but not everyone is. No offense, she has some good songs. There are cultural things that lesbians do, which lesbians get excited about, and then they There's adapt stereotypes. that. There are stereotypes that we have, yes. But saying... That this culture is is transphobic is crazy because it's literally just women singing or like acting out with women shit. Anyone who calls out a lesbian for being transphobic is automatically homophobic. Yeah, yes, because if you're telling me I have to sleep with you because I'm not inclusive enough, so I need to include you into my vagina. Um, no thanks. Oh. Just a horrible visual. But it's, is that not true? No, it's absolutely factual. It's just disturbing that we even have to talk about this. I, I didn't think I would ever have to talk about this again after, like, the early 2000s. I thought this was a set in stone, done deal. And I, all of a sudden, this straight man found a fucking loophole. Put on a dress, wear some lipstick, call a lesbian a, a transphobe, and you, you got yourself a girlfriend. I'm really upset that Kennedy shut down all the asylums. mental asylums. We need them back more than ever now. Surgery. And I'm not insecure. I'm not insecure about the parts that I have down there. But I do feel unsafe when I go into lesbian spaces, like a lesbian bar, because there are certain people who still believe in the whole ideology of clocking and being clocked. And it's just weird, right? It's just weird. Personally, I don't trust it when people use the assign. Uh, idea, idea. Wait, there was just so much there. As Peter, as Peter Bogosian would say, that there's a lot to unpack there. Wait, 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 wait. wait there's a lot of. Oh, oh, wait, wait. So, so, clocking is an ideology. It's an ideology because your ideology is now challenged. Okay. The idea of clocking, in that sense. People have stopped being honest. Yeah, absolutely. Because they don't want to hurt people's feelings. And so people haven't been openly clocking you. Openly clocking you. Because they have fear of this, honestly, being called transphobic and being called this, that, and the other thing. They'd rather just say that they have a partner and... And just move on. Yeah, most people, they don't want to deal with unnecessary drama. So they will go out of their way to avoid it by telling you what you want to hear. That's what a lot of people will do. There used to be a time when they'd be like, honey, that doesn't work. You've got to change it. That's where clocking was honest and truthful and direct. Yeah. And it wasn't intended to be harmful. But now people feel like if you say anything that, like, if it would sound negative to me... I'm not going to say it to them. I don't want to hurt their feelings. Like, that's everyone these days. It used to be where only in your home would you have, like, one or two people you would have to walk on eggshells with. But now it's everybody. You got to walk on eggshells 
with everybody? Why would I leave the house? Personally, I don't trust it when people use the assigned gender at birth outside of its appropriate context. So when I see like lesbian bars or like lesbian oriented things that are AFAB only, it makes me feel a little unsafe, a little weird, right? Because it doesn't matter. What's the proper context hmm. to say assigned female at birth, assigned male at birth? What is the proper context then? If not to identify the sexual parts you have and say like, I'm not going to be sexually compatible with you because I'm not sexually compatible with your genitals. If that's not the proper way to bring it up, when are you allowed to say they were assigned female at birth? I don't know. But number number one, who the hell is friends with someone like this? This is like a nightmare. I couldn't imagine having to deal with someone like that as a friend. I'm assuming this guy was the gay best friend. Wow. But, but not gay. And number two, as a lesbian, I am not responsible for your fucking safety, sir. I am not. I am not responsible for anyone's safety other than my own. So if you feel unsafe, go get your head checked and leave the lesbian bar to the people with the vaginas. If you feel unsafe... Imagine how the AFAB women in there feel. Imagine how the females feel in that room when the person with a penis comes up to them. You feel unsafe? Really? You have a vagina that can get ripped, sir? Have you ever walked around as a woman with a vagina? Have you ever been grabbed by someone while you were out at, at the bar or at the club or whatever? I think you probably would have liked that. Yeah, I didn't. I was so grateful I had people around me because there's a dude just fucking come up to me grabbing me. But he doesn't have to worry about having a vagina getting and getting pregnant or having some fucking disease from it. He doesn't have to worry about that. They'll say, oh, that rarely ever happens. Yeah, that's why there are so many women who have been... Is that funny? This guy got anything else to say? No, I think he, she's done with his shiz rant. This is, his shiz rant. <laughs> this is fucking transplaining <laughs> to the nth degree. <laughs> My pronouns are shiz. <laughs> his shiz. Anyway, what did you think? Did this annoy you as much as this annoyed the shit out of us? How do you like it? <laughs> How do you like it? Join our memberships. Comment below. How do you like it? <laughs> Hit the like button and our bell. Ding.